ta 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 Everyone is dead. Everyone is dead now. Everyone is dead. <laughs> Not even Tengen's cockroach-like speed was enough to save him. Remember when this arc was fun? When we were escorts? Before all the pain and death? Hey! Never give up! That's right. Don't give up. Even though it looks pretty bad. I said don't give up. <laughs> Don't give up. Wait, wait, there's a family flashback for this, maybe. But it's a Nezuko flashback. Was this a thing that Tanjiro was going through? Man, this family's like Obi-Wan and that they're more powerful in death than they ever could have been in life. And that was the last time that people were ever entertained. And you're right, it was, it was just yesterday we were dressing up as, as not so beautiful women. How much more can you even do? <laughs> I'm gonna eat those words, aren't I? And now it's just the two of them? I'll take luck any day. And she's totally fine too. What was it all for? I really want Inosuke to have that victory too. I really hate this. I hate that this is a thing. At least Zenitsu's moving. Imagine Zenitsu wakes up to this. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I don't even see a path. I'm trying. I'm trying. Because he's a miserable person. He's having fun. You don't have to answer his questions, Tanjiro. I knew he was going to though. He's really kicking the hornet's nest. Tundra's a little bit sensitive about family. I mean, they take care of each other. There's <laughs> one good limb gone. This, is, this hurts. It's incredibly frustrating. I hate that in life, when you meet people who are just terrible, but also they're gonna beat you. I guess it's easy to fall into the lure of thinking that if you're good, you'll win. You know, it's not guaranteed. Terrible things win too. But maybe in normal life, that's an important reflection, that you want to be prepared so that the things that are terrible can't blindside you like this. Not that Tanjiro's been blindsided, but he's definitely outmatched. You're breathing, Tanjiro. It's okay to run away, I guess. He's protecting Nezuko. Have you ever seen a mirror? Yeah, throw your pop rocks at him. With his busted fingers. This is so tough to watch. It's definitely not gonna go down that path, but I have two minds about this. On one hand, we've seen that demons don't necessarily have to be aligned with Muzan, but superseding that is the importance of what it represents, which would be giving into the darkness, sacrificing one's own soul, let's say, for something more material like power, turning your back on humanity, which is, in a sense, a very meticulously crafted gift from nature or the universe or, or God or whatever you want to call it, which I actually think is largely the human struggle. And maybe bigger than that, a struggle of just life in general, maybe can be summarized as a battle between what is good for the individual in a moment and what is good for the species over time. And in that sense, I think good is probably aligned with avoiding the temptation of things that benefit you immediately but are destructive in nature for the things that make your life more difficult and maybe cause sacrifice but are more sustainable and tied to just a higher value for life. All that being said, it'd be really cool to see a spin-off where Tanjiro becomes a demon. Alternate universe. There's a parallel between these two pairs, right? You've got two, two siblings. This is also a repeat of the conversation with Rengoku. Rengoku didn't do it. If it's good enough for Rengoku, it's good enough for me. Set your heart ablaze. <laughs> the head! His ultimate weapon. The final limb. A little bit of poison. Very clever. The whole thing was a ploy. This was... Set up from the first episode when he did that, that crazy hatchet trick. He's a tactician, Tanjiro. No, you can't beat him. You can kill him, but you can't beat him. Did this just happen? I, I don't even know what to believe anymore. Because they've been beheaded so many damn times. And not died. Please be dead so we can rescue Inosuke. And also because I hate you. And flashback. He sees himself. 
in the demon at, at a moment like this. Yeah, so the parallel was very intentional. Can you imagine having sympathy for this guy at this moment? It's not quite done yet. Oh, it's cutting. I was wondering when she was going to jump in. Yes! Yes! Tanjiro Zenitsu teaming up. Hell yeah. All of your whining. All of your whining is forgiven. For all time. Godlike speed. <laughs> Damn. Might take him a while to get back. He just flew like 500 kilometers. Arrogance. That's always going to be her undoing. They're both in the same situation right now. The two of them. This is it. I, this is it. I don't even... I'm surprised they even got this far. <laughs> it might have something to do with your whole body being broken and destroyed. You gotta have an art for this or something. Oh, isn't that... Isn't that deadly? Yeah, yeah. Pull it out of you. I don't know how, but... No. Oh, he's still fighting. I don't know how he's doing it. He just pissed him off. He just lives in the poison. He's still alive! There we go, create some breathing room. <laughs> it's also a tactic. Full recovery. The confidence! Unbelievable. You got any sensu rice you can spare? He wasn't joking about this musical score. This is interesting. It's an interesting interpretation of his listening ability. <laughs> In beautiful, spectacular fashion. And Tanjiro right behind him. I like how this is accompanied by a symphony of, of sorts. The piano, though. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, it's beautiful. <laughs> wow. Wow, these shots are crazy. <laughs> it just gets better and better. <laughs> Come on, thing, and pull it out of you. Goku and Goku. Can't even see him anymore. Tanjiro right behind him still. That's all you, Tanjiro. Yes. Ah. Uh. God, there's so much anticipation for this to happen. Whoa! What did he just- Lost a whole piece of his face. <gasps> no. I feel like he just created an opening. Oh god, he gets so close each time. I feel like he's gonna take a joint, joint slash, or something. He's scared. And Tundra did this, did this in the air, no less. <laughs> I'm good, you know. Zenitsu became the Hulk in that movie. What? He's still- How are they all still going? I don't even need a heart. I, I am all heart. <laughs> of course it is. Bleeding through his nose. Speaking of joint slashes, is this it? Is this it? All of them are engaged too. All of them. <laughs> yes. Oh my god, the sound effects too. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> Get one last look at each other. Jerks. No one survived this encounter. Everyone just died. I don't even want your sympathetic backstory. You can keep it. Yeah. What were you guys doing? <laughs> you were watching this the whole time? <laughs> We needed help! I guess we didn't. Oh no, no, don't stop. Stop. My heart can't take all these fake outs. <laughs> but my god, that was probably the peak of action I've seen so far in the show. Hard to think of better scenes in life. I'm definitely gonna go back and watch it again. Possibly in slower speed. We need to, like, go to... Uh, I don't know. An ancient feudal hospital or something. No, what? No, 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 stop. Oh, you got it. Whoa. Oh, is it like a last kamikaze attack or something like that? The episode's not gonna end there, is it? <laughs>
there's a moment of absolute unbelievable sweetness of getting that victory and having them all all be involved all of them having been very deeply affected by Rengoku and making that really apparent in the last couple episodes it's such a massive payoff for all their experiences together in training and just a crazy victory overall the fact that this has never been done right it's never been done they've never killed a upper level demon immediate legend status but this carries danger with it too right this is gonna ruffle a lot of Michael Jackson's feathers and the pendulum has shifted in a major way but it has a way of swinging back around Nin Nin! <laughs> now? <laughs> I kind of needed this levity though. Yeah. I had saved him in this episode. Final episode already, my goodness. Yeah, well I feel like that was defeat. That seemed to me like a revenge thing, that last attack. It didn't seem like him coming back to life, which is a relief. There's a lot of suspense, but it seems like we avoided the worst of it. Unseen explosions in media are not proven to be very effective killers. It's kind of like falling in water. Like again, I'm sort of stunned and at a loss for words. I, just, I don't have the vocabulary to talk about animation really, but I will give it an 11 out of 10. It's something else. I kind of didn't know it was possible to have animated scenes be that cool. And then it's backed up on multiple levels by what was a great score that tied into Tengen and his ability, and then making the the great choice to have them all be involved in, and playing their role in a way that feels realistic. I was wondering if Tanjiro would be the one to kill him by himself because I feel like that would have been a little bit of a stretch. So having Tengen, this ultimate badass, be the one to kind of be doing most of the actual fighting while Tanjiro summons the strength to get that one slash in feels good. And having Zenitsu and Inosuke fighting what we know to be the weaker of the two demons who's already sort of been weakened by fighting and being able to do so together also feels really great. And the fact that it's essential for them to do both makes them all basically indispensable. Backing that whole thing up emotionally is the fact that it's been such a huge weight for this with what's happened with Rengoku and for their journeys and their struggles, as well as the significance of what this means and how well the power levels have been established. So it ends up being one of the most satisfying fights in anime, let's say, or beyond. And now we get to see the aftermath of this a little bit and what I'm hoping will be a solid epilogue and sad to say the end of the show for a while.